This is the KK River Flood Management Project. It's between the 6th and I-94 bridge. We're starting on the concrete removal for the KK River Channel here. It's the first section of concrete that's gonna be removed. A lot of problems with having the concrete in there related to public safety. The concrete does a great job of pushing the, the flow out as fast as possible. Where the concrete ends right now, there used to be a railroad trestle that passed over and upstream of that, there was a flat concrete section and some limestone retaining walls that extended up. That was installed in the 1940s. In the 1980s, we came in as a flood management project and we built this concrete Q net. When we remove that concrete, we slow down the flow with this rock line channel. We have to have somewhere for this to go. We widen the flood plain out and it's much safer on the edges. It provides habitat, it provides water quality benefits. Uh, it, it's overall a better system. Before we had slopes that were eroded, uh, they were basically vertical, they were exposing a bunch of utilities. By coming through, uh, we're able to guide the channel where we want it to go to stabilize the whole entire slope. With the fish passage that comes up from Lake Michigan, you need to have a pool and riffle sequence. You have a riffle sequence where the fish can pass through, but then you need these pools where they can where they can stop and they can rest and you get those shaded, you get them pulled down, they can sit in there and then they can make the next riffle sequence. Concrete is much too fast. Fish will try and get a certain distance and then they'll run out of steam and they'll have to go back down. 